Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Most of the defense enthusiasts are eagerly waiting for India's indigenous UAV Rustam which is under development from a decade and has undergone several changes in its specifications and design. Finally, in one year we will be able to witness the final and first flying Rustam UAV all thanks to the government of India realizing the need of indigenous UAV and bringing back the focus to the Rustam program. As we all are aware, the Rustam UAV has given birth to two UAVs which are Tapas BS-201 and Archer. Today, we are going to discuss in detail about Tapas BH-201 development and lots of exciting news which have come up recently regarding the UAV. Now before we discuss further, let's recap the recent major development in Tapas BH-201 program in last 6 months. The first one it was on 7th November 2021 where we have seen a video of test flight of Rustam 2 or Tapas BH-201. This was an important development for Tapas program as it has proven the two critical technologies which includes ATOL or Autonomous Takeoff and Landing and the integration of UAV's flight system with indigenous Gagan satellite. During the flight, Tapas took off the GPS SBS based auto mode successfully. The GPS aided geo augmented navigation Gagan was utilized for augmenting the accuracy of GPS. During the test, Tapas demonstrated 8 hours of endurance, 250 km of range, and 15,000 feet of flight altitude using Gagan. Rustam 1 has also demonstrated similar capability with 10 hours of endurance and range of 220 kilometers. On March 2022, it was reported that Rustam 2 has achieved flight altitude of 27,500 feet and endurance of 18 hours in the recent trial conducted in the same month, which is close to the target set for the UAV. As per S. Raj Gopal, project director of TAPAS, it is slightly short of the armed forces requirement, but a majority of requirements have been met. Rustam till date has completed more than 110 flights so far with various mission profiles. Now, as per the latest report by the week, TAPAS will soon go for Center of Military Airworthiness and Certification for its airworthiness by checking its load factors, safety and airframe design. Though TAPAS is primarily being used for surveillance, it can also be used to carry weapons. It is pre-designed to carry certain weapons and can be converted into armed platform. Many of you have questions regarding TAPAS BS-201 if it is going to be armed or just being used for intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance ISR missions. The answer is yes, it can be armed if armed forces want but their primary requirement is for ISR mission. TAPAS has a range of sensor that will make it capable of day and night operations and missions and it also has autonomous takeoff and landing capabilities which was demonstrated last year. Bharat Electronics Limited BEL, is the primary partner for electronic system like the onboard avionics. TAPAS is designed only for small missions and will carry a limited payload of 150 kg. However, with the integration of newer and more powerful indigenous engine, this can be increased which we will discuss later. The armed forces were especially impressed by the drone's advanced ground control system and both the version of Rustam that is TAPAS BH-201 and Archer are going to use same ground control system. As per the week's report, HAL will produce the first 5 TAPAS drone. The company is expected to get the drawings for production by May. Between September and April, HAL will do staggered delivery of the UAV. The flight control system, avionics and data link system for the first 5 TAPAS drone are ready. Now, as soon as the airframe for these drones arrives, the system can be quickly fitted and integrated. The engines for these UAVs have already been ordered. HL team will be trained on the integration of first two UAVs and for the remaining one, HL will do the integration and ADE will act only as a monitoring agency at different production stages. Then all five tapas will go for user evaluation trial 
A total of 76 Tapas drone is planned to be inducted into Indian Armed Forces and the Army will go for 60, Air Force 12 and Navy 4. Though the original completion date of project was 2016, it has been extended by 7 years that is to 2023. The government has made it pretty clear that there will be no further extension of this program. The DIDO CVRD has also developed an indigenous 180 horsepower diesel turboprop engine for Rustam 2 or Tapas BH201 and we have seen it being used in the recent pictures of it. CVRD is also working on a more powerful engine that can deliver 220 horsepower at a service ceiling of 15,000 feet which will further boost the payload capacity of the drone. At present, Tapas is powered by two 120 horsepower engine but in future it will be powered by indigenously developed two 220 horsepower engine. DRDO is also working with Coimbatore based private firm on the indigenous engine for Tapas. As of now, close to 75% of drone is made in India. DRDO scientists claim that once inducted, Tapas would be almost 8 times cheaper than the imported drones under the same category. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.